Oh yeah, I can't wait for this. Can't wait for this. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Welcome back to new Soccer Wars! I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. So already I got a problem. Yeah, I think I know the problem you're about to say. Can I say it first? Uh, yeah, you first. Okay, so we're going to be piloting with Claris today, correct? Yes. Okay. The issue I see is she doesn't want to use magic from a book, but her weapon is magic from a book. Well, it's similar, so it means that there's like, you know, two. There's a two-headed problem. She doesn't want to use it, but that's what she uses. And she also wants to keep her powers a secret. But she uses it in her magic. Even though she uses book magic. <laughs> I mean, you're giving me mixed signals here, honey. What are we yeah. doing here? I mean, like, really? <laughs> <laughs> and we have no control over her right now because she is in this what? war. She is in this war in her mind right now as to whether she should use her powers or not. Oh my god, I hate this arc in any show ever. You have- Because the answer is always the same. Yes! Use your powers! Be guided by your morals! Your morals are what make it evil or not. Like, using wind magic doesn't automatically make you a puppy killer. Th yeah. You in your mind do that. I, I, I use a knife sometimes to cut my meat, but... You know, oh, oh you're just a straight-up serial killer after back, that. Back in the 90s, uh, Lorena Baba used a knife to chop off her husband's penis, so I guess that must mean I am... If I, if I use meat to cut up my steak, I am just as bad as the castrators. Mm-hmm. I mean, I pet my cat, you know, I gave him good scritches, but you know what? That just automatically means I, I, I might kill cats later. You, know, you never I, know. I smoke... I smoked tobacco once. You know who else who smoked tobacco? <gasps> Hitler. Ah! Well, you're just no better than Hitler. <laughs> that just kind of reminds me of the the overcomplication YouTube videos. That uh, have have you seen any of those theory videos, especially concerning Kojima games? I've got. <sighs> You, you know, don't talk, to, don't talk to me about stupid theory videos. It, yeah, they I'm, got th they got theories on YouTube that say space is fake. I've heard that one. That's that's, that's pretty so sad. dumb. That is like literally the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yes, the the one I'm thinking of is the is the guy who had a theory on Metal Gear, saying it wasn't over because of a tweet Kojima made two years prior to Phantom Pain being released. What? Yeah, so, uh, Metal Gear theory theorists are probably some of the most insane people on YouTube, and that's saying a lot. Where... Trying to figure out Hideo Kojima is impossible, just give up now. Yeah, just, it's, it's a losing game, guys. Uh, and then there's also the people who think, you know, having a potted plant in Sakurai's house means that Waluigi is the next character coming out. I think people just what? take it, you know, a bit too seriously. A anyway, the point I'm getting at is I have hair, and Hitler also had hair, therefore... Killer. That was a long, roundabout way to get to my point for a joke that probably didn't land. I just hate theorists sometimes. I, like, I don't think that they really care about researching or anything like that. They just want to say the theory because they like making theories so they can live in their own little fantasy world about made-up shit. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, there's actually an ongoing war that I've been watching on Twitter. Um, have you seen, uh, the person who does, like, really good Smash renders? Like, they're just using Blender and creating characters that people have wanted just for fun. Uh, I and think I've seen a couple. Like, like, they're really good renders. They look authentic, but, th again, they're just doing it for fun. They're having a war with a YouTuber who is constantly posting, like, Smash shit every single day. Trying to get people for clicks using their renders without their permission, and it's, it's just hilarious. That's gross. Oh, it is gross. And the thing is, he said, well, well wh why do you have to yell at me? He basically victimized the, the person trying to get their artwork back, and I'm like, oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off. That's, 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 like, that's gross as hell, man. Yeesh. 
Back to the plot for a second. Claris, why are you holding back? <sighs> Come on, you're only using 5% of your power. I'm a new member, and even I can tell when you're being a weepy little baby. You know, if we have the anime trope where, you know, the power was in her all along, because it literally is, and she's like, you know what, I should use my power, and then just goes, like, uh, pardon the reference, but full Super Saiyan, in order to save our commander here. That's probably what's going to happen by the end of the episode, and I hate everything. The power was in herself. I'll buy that. Because that means that she has to look within herself. She has to overcome it herself. That's a, that's a good character moment. Maybe a little little cliche, a little weak, but sure. Super Saiyan, I'll go Super Saiyan. I will, I will take Super Saiyan any day of the week. But the real reason why she decides to use her powers and start being helpful is really stupid. <laughs> now I'm just imagining Super Saiyan Claris, hair down to her ankles, and also the book becomes 10,000 pages long. It turns into war and peace. <laughs> Unabridged! Oh! Which is, yes, a notoriously long book. What is it, like, uh, 10,000 pages? I don't know. That's, it's, it's very thick. It's very long. It's it's the favorite long book everybody uses. War I remind you all. Unabridged. The Tale, the tale of Genji ha Unabridged has over a thousand pages in it, so keep that in mind. Alright, War and Peace Unabridged. Let's take a look here. It would be pretty badass if Claris had like all 52 volumes of the Genji Monogatari just hovering around her as she fires off lasers <laughs> everywhere. Then I would buy your stupid little cheap Libromancy bullshit. As long as you do something fun with it. Dude, if she actually, like, had different grimoires floating around her mech, and she had different spells in those grimoires, that'd be amazing. Now, imagine at the beginning of the chapter, Claris lets loose that, uh-oh, I have Libromancy. Yeah. See, that, that just sounds Let's, like a, deb a debilitating <laughs> disease. It happens early. We're gonna write the play. Claire should write the play. Needs inspiration. Wants to go on a date with us. We go on the date, and then she reveals her her wind magic to us. That takes about, say, 30, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Or like about uh, a fifth of the chapter dedicated to that. Then the uh, then uh, three fifths of that is dedicated to trying to figure that out. You know, she, maybe she's like, well, I guess I better leave now because my powers are dangerous and I don't want to hurt the people I love. And then we got to convince her, no, your powers aren't bad. You can use them to protect the ones you love. Remember, it is the mind behind the power that you can use. That's all good, right? As long as you are good at heart, then your powers will be good as well. But it takes great responsibility. You cannot be a... You cannot think about this lightly. It's, it's with a heavy and determined heart that you can wield such terrifying power that's been in your family for, for generations. I mean, if, if there was an extra scene... I'm picturing this in my head of how she can actually, you know, get that feeling of guilt by using her powers. I'm just envisioning, like, she uses it to save a kid and her commanding officer. Yeah, that's fine. But what if she, you know, tries to do it again and accidentally, like, blows out a couple windows? See, that's where I can see, like, come, some of the guilt coming in, but that didn't happen. You can get a whole lot of content out of that. You can get a whole lot of really great moments, you know, where she breaks down and the captain helps her build her back up and everything's all right at the end and they have a moment together and that gives you some extra points that makes it really her chapter, you know what I mean? But no. No. The real reason... Why she decides to get off her ass, wipe away these moral problems she's having with her powers, and start helping out, is because of this loser. Seriously, this guy. This guy here. Oboro. This guy looks like he's straight out of The World Ends With You. Or Kingdom Hearts, he looks like a Heartless. While also wearing heels. Hey, go figure. The demon doesn't really care much for human life. What? I, for one, am shocked. What? That's crazy. Oh, uh, by the way, to answer all of your burning questions out there, according to Wikipedia, the first published edition of War and Peace by Tolstoy is 1,225 pages. Yeah. 
The unabridged version of Genji Monogatari I have is just like a little over a thousand, maybe 1100 if I go to the very end. That's a thick boy. That's a thick boy. Oh my god, that's a lot of demons. So we got a lot of demons here. A lot of them are in the air. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we, ha we have uh, the power of pop music. You spin me right round, baby, right round. I think I might have to try a little harder, so I'll, I'll, I'll try and do that. Aw, man. Don't need, you don't need to worry too much about combat, because it does take a bit longer, but it is is just a way to just coast through the combat and not give a shit about anything. Except for the aerial ones. That's when you gotta try. Hmm. I mean, is there anything else to talk about concerning combat? Like, this just seems very cut and dry. Yeah, I mean... Well, I will say, if you want to get an S rank, use your specials a lot. I've been saving my specials for the really big enemies, mm -hmm. which you can also do. But it, but uh, when it calculates your damage, it calculates the damage that you do. Oh. Not, not your partner's, it, it's damage that you do. So, if I'm Seijiro, the damage that Clarice, Clarice is doing right now doesn't count. <laughs> but if I switch to her, and I start kicking ass, that counts. Ah, okay. So they don't want you to rely on one character the entire time, because it looks like you're getting your butt kicked now. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's very stompy. I don't have any specials saved up yet. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. She's still like, oh, sh why, why was I giving this power? Like, a little help here! He's stomping me to death! You know, I've never understood how characters can have long, drawn-out, like, thoughts to themselves during battle. Like, does, does that mean you're literally spacing out in the middle of a space fight? Or, like, does time stop when you think of things? They're trying to cram all the character moments into combat when I'm not paying attention. Seriously, the text is at the bottom, their portraits are at the top left, and you're trying to focus on things that are center camera. So these crystals just keep coming back. There's no way to defeat them. Which but now it's time for Claris yeah, to finally embrace her it. powers. I knew it. What am I fighting for? She's like, look at the way you use your powers. I'm not gonna do it for my powers. Oh my god! I'm gonna use it to lay waste to everything in front of me. I will kill all in my path. That, uh, yeah, that's good stuff. And uh, I, just one option, huh? Oh my god! <laughs> But she's my friend. The power of friendship will kill everything. Her powers come from a pure heart. She'd only use them for good. Uh, and she's like, uh, Yeah, I, I, I sure I, I sure would. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, if she got over that little, uh, <laughs> severe blow to her character arc pretty well. It's almost like it wasn't an issue. Watch me put a dent in your defenses. <laughs> Time to use Clarice's special ability! Oh my god! You're showing Clarice. Ah, oh, the, the special book! My secret book powers that nobody should know about! Stop looking at my book powers! Everything explodes. Hatsuho's like, whoa, Claris, what is that? And she's like, what? uh, Halberd? <laughs> <laughs> so, with this, I lock on to everything with, this, with her special attack. I think I saw 10. There we go. Then just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Unleash the power of the Necronomicon! You know, I think at some point, Sakura Wars stopped being about dramatic theater and more about shitty anime. Well, yeah. There was always a degree of shitty anime in Sakura Wars, but I think that they kind of pushed the slider up on that one for this one. Well, that's kind of like what the world's been like these past few years. Like, the time between 5 and New Soccer Wars, anime's changed for better or for worse, mainly. For worse! There's still some good stuff out there, I will always hold to that. It's just buried in shit! There's so much... fluff, wallpaper paste, artless, formless, tasteless crap. Like, everything I see, I have seen in three other things last month alone. It's all the same, and only when there is just a fleeting moment of something different. Some, somebody taking a risk, somebody trying something new. Only then can it be any good, but this is just every cliché, every trope, on top of bad writing! See, anime is a lot different than games, because I was just thinking, you know, Man, we've, we've really had a, a bad run of games just rehashing the same old thing and not putting any love into it. Anime is a di bit different because a lot of people watch anime, especially the Japanese audience. And you, see what, you, you see what just happened? Because I was taking care of so many enemies on my own, she lost morale by 50 points. <laughs> well then, it's ca it's not called up Lone Wolf. shut up! actually fight something! It's like, oh, no, oh, now she's ready to destroy things! Now she's ready! Oh, she found it resolved pretty fucking quickly! Yikes. Anyway, go on. That was, that was really dumb. Anyway, uh, we've had a few different, like, genres that unfortunately get most, you know, most purchases, and that's why we don't, and that's why we see more of the same crap. Like, there was a boom of fan service there for a few years, and then there was a, a boom of isekai. And now the boom is just finishing long-running arcs. So the thing is, all anime is based on light novels or manga. And a lot of the light novels and manga are kind of trash these days, so the anime ends up being trash too. It's like, why does a show called Fire Force need fan service? It's about, it's basically like firebenders fighting each other, and it's, it's got fan service in it, and that ruined it for people. Everybody loved Goblin Slayer. <coughs> from its wholesome first scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from then on, it couldn't get any worse, could it? God, that just reminds me that a lot of people didn't even watch Into the Abyss. <laughs> that makes me sad, it was really good. No, I was too busy playing Soccer Wars. Sorry, not Into the Abyss, what the fuck is it called? Made in Abyss. Made in Abyss, there we go. Into the Abyss is a documentary from 2011, oops. The, the Abyss was a movie by James Cameron in 1989. And the Stygian Abyss is, I believe, something from D&D. No, wait, no. No. That's from... <gasps> uh, what series is that? Lord British's series. Who? Oh, Lord British. Ultima. Ultima, there we go. Thank Richard you. Garriott. Richard Garriott, a.k.a. Lord British. See, I just remember the character's name because you could totally kill him. <laughs> just couldn't remember the series. Uh, that's a big flame ha! spider. Ha ha, I am untouchable! Ha! Ow! I, uh, you cannot defeat me! Ow! Ow! <laughs> but we're supposed to use Clarice's special move. Okay. Take him down that way. Damn, he falls, that, yeah, switches that to Sejiro, and then to another special. Wow. 
What a pathetic boss. It's almost done, man. Whoops, that's about 80% of your health there, buddy. Wow. Did anybody think the combat was the best part of Soccer Wars 2021? I, I want to know. 2020, excuse me. So I'm playing uh, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Even though I'm not, you know, the biggest celebrator of Dynasty Warriors, it's it's still really fun to play. Mm -hmm. Feels good to hit things. Yes, yeah, seeing just a whole bunch of bodies fly, making the whole system chug because I killed too many things <laughs> is a good feeling. You're too good. This is just crap combat. And it's already over, so... Wow. Alright, so I'm gonna read you a couple e excerpts from Metacritic if you're if you're okay with that. Sure. Uh, it currently has, under critic reviews, 30 positive, 30 mixed, and 2 negative. And a user review had 26 positive, 9 mixed, and 4 negative. Of course there'd be people who love this because it's made for them. Artless, tasteless freaks. Yeah, let me, uh, let me tell you the review from Screen Rant. Uh, this is just the excerpt. Soccer Awards is a soft reboot of a classic Japanese game that is sadly plagued with repetitive combat, dated gameplay, and creepy relationships. Yes! God! <laughs> let me see. Who else do we got here? See, we went through all that. I feel like we didn't learn anything. It's like, now don't be evil, Claris! That's like, essentially what her arc boils down to. Like, hey, you've got this awesome power. Don't be evil. We we need something that motivates her. What is her driving force? What's what? We, we need to know something about her. How'd you get these powers? Did your mom have them? Did your dad have them? Did your brother have them? Did they like you using it? Did they tell you to never use it? Did, were they lying to you this whole time? Do we get to meet them? How did you first find out about these powers? When did you learn to use them? When did you decide that they were bad? Did you hurt something? Did you hurt someone? You seem to use it. You seem to bring it up pretty quickly and use it in public pretty quickly. If you want to keep it a secret, why is it a secret? You know, I kind of want to see a special cutscene where Kamiyama is actually saying this, like backing her into a corner and constantly yelling in her face. <laughs> Hand up against the wall, not letting her escape, and then she's like turning away because she's scared, but she's also really turned on. <laughs> he's got the crazy eyes, and he's just going, Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me! But no, that would create deep characters. I mean, I can tell you everything about the girls from Soccer Wars 5. Every goddamn thing. Well, it's because we spent a lot of time with them. Yeah! Like, a lot of time with them. We found out more about them in their respective chapters. What we know about Clarice, she, she likes books! And she has magic books! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love her? You wanna waifu her yet? <laughs> God, I love a waifu with self-loathing. <laughs> I love that shit. She's got blonde hair and I think she sings sometimes! You wanna buy some Doc P. Makaras about her? Do you want to draw some doujinshis? <laughs> Does she make your Kokoro go doki doki? Oh my god. Uh, Sakura Wars Doki Makura. <laughs> no! Uh, you're gonna you're gonna find the old girls, I bet, because nobody gives a fuck about these tossers. Oh, I'm very interested. Um, uh, we got some of the current girls, mainly the ones we like. Not but Sakura. Uh, no. No, I, so, I said- Oh, here, no, here's I'm her play! Legit. Check this out! Julius Caesar? <laughs> Bless you. Why did you write that? So look at this! This is the big improvement that Reiji was working on! Flat screen LCD screens! <laughs> I know we're in steampunk land, <laughs> but that's not how that works! You don't take advantage of the fact you're in the goddamn oh, 1940s! Oh god... <laughs> you idiots! <laughs> You just want to have everything be in present day, oh, but you're like, no. damn, it's the 1940s. So then you jump ahead by 20 years or 10 years or however to keep you away from that time period so you can do whatever the hell you want here. 
But hey, that's great. Now we can compete in the goddamn combat review world games. Oh, perfect. Whose character arc are we gonna see during the fucking tournament arc? Oh! Uh huh. Did you think someone gets a character arc in the next chapter? No fucking way. No way! It's no gonna be way. all about the- it's all gonna be about the combat review games. No. Oh, wait! Do you think it's gonna be the whole games in one chapter? Oh no! Not a fucking chance! It's just the first round! Oh no... Next time on Soccer Wars is gonna be chapter three, the first round of these stupid games. But about your play, Claris! Yeah, it could be better. <laughs> I love it. Because I'm feeling a little upset right now. I'm going to be a little harsh. And she takes it well! Ah, <laughs> uh, she loves criticism. Maybe that's what really turns her on. Being told she's shit. No shortage of bile there. If you read a lot, you're going to love to want to write a lot. Indeed. They, they never talk about this play either. It's just, well, yeah, it, it was it, nice, it, it was really good, I really enjoyed how great it was. It was a MacGuffin. It's just, hey, we need a subplot for Claris. Oh, how about a play? They put no effort into this reboot. There's nothing to it, it's just pretty anime girls dancing around like broken puppets. God, there was more plot development in fucking Hamtaro. And what annoys here. me the- I think one of the things that annoys me the most is that whenever there's any sort of charming character interactions, somebody, usually Sakura, has to take it as, Are they flirting? Are they in love? Are they together? Oh! Oh, they can really tell there's a relationship blooming now! This is Yandere Simulator. They, they can't every... just have a platonic moment! <laughs> they can't! Every time you get in a relationship with a new girl, and I'm not meaning like, like lovey-dovey relationship, I mean like, talking to them, bitch is gonna get cut! They can't even talk, they can't even go out of the town and go someplace without having you know, everybody follow them and make snide comments about it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Can we call this the Sonic 06 of the Sakura Wars franchise? Look, this isn't a glitchy fucking mess. It's just bad storytelling. Which so, Sonic 06 did have, yeah. So it should be... Sonic Chronicles? We can go with that. So next time on Soccer Wars, like I mentioned, the very first round begins of the fucking combat review world games. Yay. This is what the game just can't wait to show us. This is what the game takes its pride on. This is what the whole game is centered around. That's all. Yes. Yes, yes. It's a tournament death arc. Death? Whoever what? loses gets cut. But we'll get to that later. That's just to keep you uh, guessing for more. Right now, let's check our team status. As we okay. take this intermission and sign up for the day. Okay. I mean, I'm sure Claris must have had got a lot of points from that. Nope, she... Oh, barely. Oh, she's almost at the second... She, she's in second place now! She went oh, from shit. the back of the pack to almost catching up to Sakura, who still can't get off my dick. What a crock of shit. Wow. Well, see you next time on Sakura Wars.